Blink. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's blinking. Okay. All right, well, you can taxi to holding point out for eight, which is at the uh, other end. All right. Back or taxiing a bit too fast. Yeah. We've got a big keel surface with the rudder fin, and uh, if you taxi too fast with a wind, it'll cause you to weave. So okay. if you find yourself weaving a lot, then just slow it down further. I see. This is Alpha 7, yeah. Okay. Alpha 8. Yep. Taxi up to the line. Pull forward and stop. Okay. Alright. So, we'll go on to tower. that's what we're so I'm going to say uh, thanks to Tower, uh, 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 ready to ready to hold and port out right, 291, right, okay, for an upwind departure, for upwind, okay. Thanks to Tower, India, Sierra, November, ready at holding point Alpha 8, uh, runway 29 right for an upwind departure, alright. Tower India Sierra November, ready at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right for an upwind departure. India Sierra November Tower, hold position. Hold position, India Sierra November. <laughs> You're right, I'm waiting for the helicopter. We're set to still 1000, so we don't fail the plugs up. Anything below 1000, because of the lead in the fuel, it fails the plugs up. I see. Yeah, the helicopter's doing fixed wing procedures, so he's flying a circuit pattern. I'm walking like an aeroplane. India Sierra November, line up runway right. Line up runway right, India Sierra November. attitude as you're trimming. If you start moving the nose, then you'll never get it. Yeah, I figured the nose was the wrong, was actually the wrong attitude. Right, right, right. That's pretty 
good. We've got a little left. I did before a thousand so about now you can start lowering your nose down. And swap hands when you trim. Lower your nose quicker. 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 There. So accelerate into 115, 120. Yep. Lower your nose more. A bit more forward trim. Up down. Yep, that seems to be lower your nose. Lower your nose. More. We need to have a thousand feet. Oh, yep, yeah, sorry. Once we get past the railway line, which is there, then we can climb. Thanks, down tower. Helicopter Lima, November 4th. All right. At uh, Yep, I've got a report to the staff, I've had a report. Yep. Report, Chopper South, 500, Lima, November, Foxtrot. Okay, full power, attitude. A hold of the November Hotel runway centre, clear touch and go. And trim it. No runway centre, uniform November Hotel. You do raise the nose about there, hold that. Okay, what you want to do now is turn this to standby and dial up one, two, and then put it back to out. White Fox Frankie for the diamond turning final. in order to hold 2,500. Hotel, 
Triple South 500, Echo Hotel.
Yeah, that's from Empire. You want the center line to turn your legs all the way down. But we, so we were, we were to the left of the line, but we were also like not parallel to the line. Do I need to worry about that at that point? No, you just turn the airplane to make sure like, the line's in between your legs. Because I forget, we're three dimensional. The wind drift will drift us. Yeah, yeah. so we have to counteract that with, with, with track correction, okay? So we want to we, we, we um, roll, roll to the right a little bit until we are on top of the center line and then wings level. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we use the ailerons as the primary, so yeah, when, when you're doing that, yeah, you just turn out as required. I think you, that's what you do when you're doing that, because you're to left and you're to the right. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's okay, but I noticed the left ailerons coming in. Yeah, okay. Again, I don't know how to Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, but then, when I counteracted you, you managed to basically, you know, flare and then hold it off. But we did a big hold off, because we didn't have the full flap. Yeah, that's a difference in terms of... Oh, oh. yeah, I feel like that's a forever. So, but we'll do that. We won't use full flap. We'll come in okay. at 75. That gives you a longer hold off so you can actually see what yeah. I'm seeing. And it definitely felt the ground effect at the end. It was just like very sudden. We were on a cushion of air or something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you can bleed that off. And we could have held off a little bit more, but we landed a little bit abruptly. That's what you get if you don't hold off. You get that bump. So I, I, that's because I didn't pull back enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We still had a bit more of hold off to do. Okay. It's a lot better than your first attempt. Oh, yes. we, we just got to get you on the center line all the way down on short finals, and when you flare, to flare straight towards your navel, not do that. Okay. Okay? Because yep. that's still there. Okay. It is a conscious act. I know that, but uh, they still got to get rid of it. No, it's <laughs> crazy. I, uh, I used to looser grip this time. I found myself tightening up, and I let go. Like, uh, it seemed to help. Yeah. Yeah. When you think about it, if you've got it trimmed out, the airplane will fly itself down finals. <laughs> I mean, like, so <laughs> I guess I need to learn to trust that. You, you need to, but look, it's all new for you, and, and no doubt, the more times you're doing it. Today, it was good that we took off and you came in and did the landing as well, because it reinforces the TNA yeah, completely. So I guess we, we didn't get to do the objectives today because of the clouds, hey? Nah, we had three layers of clouds in the training area, and I'm scratching my head going, nah, it's not going to yeah. work. Yeah, it's fine. We get to practice the landing. That's, that's good. Yeah. And, and the takeoff. The takeoff feels so unsteady, like, 